I'm going to share with you how I make my bows for my wreath. I'm gonna have a bow up here and a bow down here, and we're gonna fill in the perimeter with other ribbons. So I wanted to explain real quick, like I said earlier in the video, the colors all came from the picture right here, which is this pumpkin. So I pulled all of those colors and I'm going to use the same ribbons to pull from that. Now my inspiration ribbon was this beautiful ribbon from David Christopher's because it has that pumpkin um, thread is like a metallic, metallic thread that I just absolutely love. So I use this for my inspiration and I found this beautiful one that has a green truck and as you guys can see this is just absolutely perfect for this particular um, theme because it has some pumpkins and it has the uh, colors all of the burlaps and all the colors. Now I wanted to have an accent color and for that the green on the track is perfect for it and as you guys can see we're seeing the theme right here and then also I had this beautiful uh, seventh of an inch which is a um, beautiful glitter that has a two sides. I like to put these little pins on them so that I can secure them once I'm done. So let me take all those pins out first. All right, so now that we have all of our ribbons right here, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna start and I'm gonna put them all up here, over here to the side and I'm gonna start pulling in the ones. I like to start with the smallest one first and so for that I'm gonna use this seventh of an inch and I like to start by having the tail first facing at me now. I'm gonna do probably about an eight inch tail. So what you wanna do is pinch and then I wanna do probably about an 11 inch bloop right here. So you're gonna pinch like this, you're gonna twist and then you're gonna go under and then you're gonna pinch, twist again. Once you twist, you have to make sure that that uh, designer side, which I like to call it, or the glitter side is up so that way it shows really good. And you start shaping your bow right here and then you twist, you put the designer up and then you go down. And then you pinch right here and twist and then you go like this. And so that's where my scissors come in handy and I'm gonna do a loop about this big. And as you guys can see, this is a beautiful, beautiful ribbon. I'm gonna do one tail up and one down. So I'm gonna bring this one down like this and so now I'm going to introduce the second biggest ribbon which is going to be this burlap green and this is about an inch ribbon this is one seventh this is a one inch and I'm gonna start with the once again with the tail facing me and I'm gonna start by pinching this right here together and then because this one doesn't have um, a printed side it really doesn't matter but you still have to twist because that way you kind of get used to it so for this particular ribbon I'm going to do three loops a three loop bow like this and a pinch twist and then I'm going to go up to the other side right here twist pinch and I'm going to cut my tail right here so this is what we have so far we have two ribbons four loops of the seven inch, three loops of the half inch. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna bring my uh, ribbon with the trucks. And I wanna make sure that they face forward. So I'm gonna give myself another tail right here. And on this tail, I wanna be able to see the truck. So I'm gonna go right there. Then I'm going to pinch right here with my fingers. And then now I'm going to do that loop. For this particular ribbon, I'm also going to do three loops right here. Make sure that you pinch, twist, and then you come down, you see that truck, and then you pinch, you twist, so you can have that designer side up, and then you make another loop right here, like this. So that is three loops. Make sure that you pinch really, you gather really tightly because that's what's going to make your bow really beautiful. And so now I'm gonna give this another tail part of up. I'm gonna go this way because that way I can cut the, uh, the truck in. All right, so now we have four loops of the little one, uh, of the seven inch, three loops of the green, and three loops of this beautiful uh, printed pumpkin. Look how pretty this is gonna be. All right, so now for my favorite one, this David Christopher's ribbon. I also love this ribbon because it has that uh, metallic thread in it. It just makes it sparkle so beautifully and it also gives it a little bit more of a glam. So I'm gonna start with a tail about this, about the same height as the one with the truck. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a loop right here, 
twist and see how I'm twisting. I'm going to share with you. I'm twisting with these two fingers. This is basically my clip. And then once I have my loop and I twist, I pass it down and put it in front of all of it. And so now I'm going to do the same on this side. I'm going to fold down. Once again, just pinch in between these two fingers, these two right here. And once you twist, you pass it down. And so we're going to do three loops of this ribbon, like this. And then you pinch, you twist, and you pass it down. And so now I'm going to cut right here. And I have my zip tie ready right here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass through all of the ribbons. And then I'm going to zip tie this together. And before, I'm going to do tight, but before I really cinch it together, what you want to do is you want to play with those loops to make sure that all of the loops are on the right side like this. As you guys can see, the those tails are hanging down properly and up. Look at that. Because once you pull tight on that zip tie, you would have to really undo. And so now that I have my bow really where I want it, I can really pull really tight. And so I'm gonna cut the excess right here. So now what I like to do is finesse it a little bit. I put it down and then I dovetail all my tails. Because remember, I keep on telling you, if I come to your house and your ribbons are not dovetail, most likely I'm going to ask you for a pair of scissors so I can dovetail those ribbons. You guys, it just looks more finished and more beautiful when it's dovetail. And look, it just takes nothing but an extra second to dovetail all of your tails. And the ones that are like a seventh inch, just cut it on an angle because those are really hard to get right on a dovetail. And so this is what our bow looks like. It's super cute. Like I said, all the colors are from the plaque. And I just think it's adorable. So now once we have this bow made like this, and we're going to adjust some of these tails that need to go up in a minute. But what I'm going to is I'm going to bring a pipe cleaner and I'm going to go around my bow. Then I'm going to tight, really tight, and I'm going to go like this, and with this right here, I'm going to place my bow where I want it, which is going to be right about here, and I'm going to make sure that I press down. I'm going to grab a bristle, and I'm just going to twist that, that pipe cleaner into the bristle to hold it together like this, and I'm going to do the same with this one right here on the back. It's pushing really tight, and just twist that bristle. And so now we can really finesse our bow like this. And like I said, these ones do need to be cut a little shorter, but you can do this once your ribbon is placed on place. That way you know how much you really want to uh, cut. And that way it's better to cut because if you, you cannot make them longer, you can always make them shorter, but you can never make them longer. All right, so I'm going to cut right here at the track. This one does need to also be a little bit shorter. Let's see. That's perfect. This one I feel like it's long enough, but what I want to do is I'm going to add a little dot of glue right here on my plaque, just a little bit of glue. And then what you want to do is give it a little bit of a loop like this and then just touch it so it stays right there and see how it creates that loop like that. And I think well, I might do this one, but at the end. And by the magic of television and YouTube, I have already pre-made another one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my pipe cleaner and I'm going to add this guy right here. And I'm going to go through all of it right here. And make sure that you do twist this. It's important that you twist this right here so it stays in place. And I'm going to put now this one catty corner to this over here. And I'm going to grab a bristle from the very back and I'm going to attach to it just by twisting this bristle and the pipe cleaner and that will stay in place. And you have to do the same with the, with the other one. So for that, I'm going to go through the back because it just makes it easier for me. And I'm going to grab a bristle from the back and then I'm just going to twist these two together. And that is going to lock your bow into place and it's not going to go anywhere. Because both the pipe cleaner and the bristle have metal, so they really tie in together. 
like that. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fluff this bow as well. Look, I can put some tails up, some tails down, and then fluff all of our bows so they look really pretty. Look how cute this is, you guys. And once again, I'm going to cut some of these just a little bit shorter. That looks pretty right there. All right, so I'm going to give it a second fluff, and I'll be right back with give you step number five. Stay tuned. <laughs> 